If I look at the last maybe two years, how, how, how things are moving, um, investments are triggered, uh, tenders going out, um, and, and GDP growth uh, is, is, uh, is taking on. So I'm pr pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that India will take these opportunities. Priority number one for sure is driving our digital transformation, really growing our digital business, um, double digit, that's what we promised and that's what we're going to do. And, and this transformation goes across all our businesses. Number two is strengthen our innovation strengths to really um, see how we can drive innovation from within the company but also tapping on the outside potential with our next 47 uh, company which is meant to really spend money on startups. And the third one is finding future growth areas because we see some areas are lacking growth and really to bring Siemens into new growth areas, driving our top line um, and bottom line as well. Um, we have 16,000 people in India. We have uh, 22 manufacturing sites. We have more than 4,000 R&D engineers here. So that means this transformation, however geared for the local market, so this is a, a very important element. We want to have that really localized and geared it for the local market, which fit quite nicely. We do see India is also would also benefit from a digital transformation. Is it in manufacturing area in your industries, but also in your cities? You would also benefit from running an operating system for for a city, like our MindSphere operating system. And we also see that uh, there's a lot of new markets coming up. Um, just think about the whole logistics chain, which you see um, where India, I think, has a lot to do and also started making progress, but also in your, in your manufacturing agenda, where you want to drive your GDP up in manufacturing. Um, digitalization would help very much, and we would drive it also from India, outside India.